Hello again, everyone. We have a busy day ahead of us today in Sandrock. First off, we got this letter from Unsure asking us to come because something's happened at this house. So we're going to start off with that, I think. This one is just another night out with Venti, but we also have Stand Up For Yourself, Unsure's Home, and uh, Mort, because we found a photo that belongs to Mort. So first off, we need to add some more water to our tank here. Um, interact, adjust. That should be good enough for now. Let's go ahead and take a quick ride over to Mort's house to give him his photo. And then from there, we'll go on ahead and see our boyfriend. In case you don't, don't watch the series or you didn't miss the last one, um, I'm sure it just became our boyfriend in the game. Speaking of, um, that's by Keith. Mm. Not that it's related, but I wanted to get some cooking. I think we should start cooking because we do have a bunch of um, ingredients and I think it would help with the space in terms of storage. Or I could just build better storage boxes. Or I could build more storage boxes. Just lots of options to explore. Here's the Dr. Fang. <laughs> um, so his birthday is between winter and spring. Okay, Dutch. This is Seek. Look, I don't get it. 26th of winter. Be seeing you. His birthday oh. and his Mort. Oh, it's Mort. And Mason, was he already old then? He looks exactly the same. This photo was taken not that long ago. Yeah. Mason built that water tower by the oasis. Look at how tired he is in this photo. Must have been a lot of work. People were discouraged back then. It's fortunate that Matilda and Miguel came around to inspire a bit of hope. Not That's only good. did they inspire us, but they got behind projects that promoted the See? conservation of nature and water. What's that phrase they're always spouting? In any case, they made sure we always had enough to drink. Zeke. But the desert is still growing. Oh, it's the water Soon tower everything on the wind, will no. have dried up, though I may not live to see it. People are leaving Sandrock again. <laughs> Only old fools like me are stubborn enough to stay. <laughs> Young one, thank you for bringing this to me. It feels good to share these old stories with someone who will hear them. Please stop by if you find any more of my photos. Of course. I think... I think we had two. Not See ya. you. Oh wait, you wanted to talk again? Hmm. Be seeing ya. Yeah. Okay, oh, well, partner. never mind. Let's go on ahead... ...to unsure... Oh, X, X, X. X, let's be friends. 11th what? of winter. Um, what was I gonna say? I don't know. Let's just go to Unsure's place. Oh, it seems that friendship with the mount increases every time you get off. So, it's a smart idea to get on and off, I guess. This mount isn't very good at turning, but... Can we talk to people while we're... On the moon. Hello. Hi, Grace. Hmm. See ya. But for short distances, I'm not sure using a mount is entirely like beneficial because there isn't like that time that you get off and on and off, off and on. So I think from here, I'm just gonna make a run for it. Do. Unsure's home. What happened? What's he picking up? Sand? <laughs> Hello. Sorry about the mess. It wasn't like this when I left this morning. So yeah, yeah right. as you can see, there are rocks all over the place. Someone's been moving them around. I guess. Isn't it you? Well, I know you only had a chance to look around for like 10 seconds, but who do you think could have done this? Could it have been Captain? Captain? 
No, he swore an oath to protect and serve. Yeah, he does come by sometimes, but he's not like other cats who jump up on your table and knock stuff over. Only way he'd ever do that is if there was a criminal on your table. Maybe must be a thief? Wow, yeah, maybe a thief came in and ransacked my house, but then realized there was nothing of value to steal and just left. How embarrassing for both of us. It'll be so awkward if we put him in jail and have to see him at work. <laughs> that's so funny. Hmm. If Maybe that's the bookcase, I only have my shelf to blame. Actually, okay. it's none of the above. Okay, well, what I it? ran out of space on my rock shelf, so I've just been placing my new ones in random places, starting to look like one of those old people houses we go to investigate when no one's heard from the old people in a long time. And... And? Uh, sorry. Got too real there for a sec. Usually with him, it's stacks and stacks of newspapers anyway, not rocks. So yeah, okay. I need your help. I need a new rock shelf. You know, rectangular wooden object with a series of shelves that stack horizontally so as to store and display rocks. Rock shelf. Can you help okay. me build one? Oh wait, I have a someone knocking on my door. Well, yeah. I mean, kind of like a bookshelf, but for storing rocks. I probably won't be putting any books on this thing. Oh, unless it's a book about rocks. You know what? Let's not rule that out. Do you think you could make me a rectangular wooden object with a series of shelves that stack horizontally that is capable of storing and displaying not only rocks, but potentially, if need be, books as well? Whew, nice. Thought I might be asking too much of you. Thanks a million. Just go ahead and stick it over there on the wall when it's done. Then I'll come home and be like, oh man, new rock case. Thanks. In addition to accepting my task, you've also given me a lot to think about. Well, see ya. Did that take up time? It doesn't seem like it. I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. And I love you. Uh, that was wrong. Bug. Oh, these are all the rocks on the ground. Okay. Let's start by figuring out where my ride is. It's stuck. On my map here. There's something out there too. Let's just do the one. Oh my god, it's stuck. That game is Just <laughs> little auto unstuck. What's over here? Oh, recording, right? Yeah. Okay. What's over here? Oh, it's Amira. <sighs> Are you all right? Oh, I didn't hear the sound of your footsteps. Are you also out for a walk to ease your mood as well? Sorry about what happened with the photos. Mm -hmm. There's no need for you to apologize. I don't blame Avio either. I'm just annoyed at those tourists. How could people act like that? Okay. In fact, it was a rather nasty situation. I suppose I hadn't properly thanked you for your assistance. Do you regularly make a habit of helping strangers? In any yeah. case, it was very kind of you. A rather nice contrast to the behavior of those tourists. I've had them bother me with various propositions Ooh. before, but that was the worst incident by far. I try yeah. to sort myself out when I take my walks, and try to tell myself not to let these things get to me. But let's just say, I've been taking a lot of walks lately. They say let's dance our troubles away? Mm -hmm. If you want to start dancing out here for everyone to see, just for my amusement, I won't stop you. Oh. Am I just gonna be dancing? <laughs> I 
That's not a good dance. <laughs> it's something. It's definitely something. You really did it. Oh, is it over? I was just about to start clapping to the beat. I just wasn't quite able to discern a rhythm out of your movements. That's not very nice. How silly of you. But I must admit, I feel better. Still, I just wish I knew what to say when a tourist is aggressive about getting a photo with me. Hmm. I try to sort myself out when I take my walks. And try to tell myself not to let these things get to me. But let's just say... I've been taking a lot of walks lately. I'll teach you how to deal with, with them. Hmm. I'm not so sure. I tend to avoid conflict. What would you have me say? Your mother is a pine cock and your father smells like I... I'm not going to say that. Deal with them? Hmm. Have you no hmm. sense of decency? Worth a try. Assuming they do indeed have any decency to speak of. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, all of you. I'd prefer you show me a bit more respect. You can do better mm. than that. Exactly as you said. I don't know if I could be that rude. Um, all right. I'll take a swing at it. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Have you no sense of decency? That was great. Um, it seems I've got a bit carried away. Though, in a way, I felt kind of nice. Okay. All right. Thank you. I will take your counsel to heart. Sounds this good. view is nice, but I've seen enough. Don't worry about me. Even if you hadn't come along, I would have found some way to deal with this issue. I always do. Okay. I must go. We'll talk some other time, Builder. Bye, Amira. Sorry. I'm not really much for conversation. Goodbye. All right. Let's take a look at what that mysterious box is. One of them is definitely Venti's Night Out, and I'm still not interested in doing that, honestly. So let's just go ahead and see what... It's in the... I think it might be in the hazardous part. Which is free. I'm good with that. Alright. Just grab my hammer. Let's vent his night out. Still... Can I do a shortcut? Yeah, that was pretty short. Let's see... Where is it? It's just like here. Where... No idea of where to go for this quest. I think this isn't even the correct. This might not be the correct area, actually. Oops, I almost fell. We don't want to fall. Two hits. You good? Let's see. We get there. Okay. That's not it. I wonder if it's this way. It seems to be down there. There is like a wall. Three hits for that one. Let's see if it's over here. It doesn't seem to be either. Like, where is this mission? What is this mission? Mysterious box. Let's take our camo back up. It doesn't seem to be. Here. I guess I was wrong about that. Thought for sure it would have been. 
in the hands or just groups I fell. It's a bit hard to stir steer a camel, you know. Okay. I'm busy. Where is the mysterious? Oh, is it here? It's definitely down there. What's this? Cave. It's just the same cave. But it's not here. So it has to be in the paid part of the junction. I don't want to pay. Oh, no, that's for the other one. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save. And we're gonna s Oh, no, that's the Venkis Night Out. Oh, it's open. Cool. It's open. I don't know what this is all about. Did I get a free pass? I didn't. It's just because there's an event. Oh, hey! You're diving today too, huh? No, I wasn't. Hey, but... check this out! A mysterious black box. It doesn't have a latch or anything, and I can't break it open either. Believe me, I tried. I have to know what's inside. It's driving me crazy! The box what's must be holding in something inside. What do you think I should do? Take it to Sure. Key? Director Chi knows all kinds of stuff. Maybe he's even encountered one of these things before. I'll stop by the research center tomorrow around 6 p.m. You should join me if you have time. Well, sure. I've got enough ores for today, I reckon. Be seeing you. Seeing you around. When is it? Calendar. Tomorrow. Okay. Since we're here, I'm just gonna grab this ruined frame. That's the only important one, really. Also, where's my axe? I put my axe in storage. I think I messed that up, but... Grab some food, if I have any, like some stamina food, we're gonna need it, I'm assuming, food edible, uh, this one, it's mostly health, do this, stamina is fine, that should be enough, alright, let's go ahead and take a look at that last event. Riding along with my camera. There's like paper flying around. Maybe there's leaves. Who knows? Okay, what was this one called? I don't know. Is that just where the quest is? It's so far. Very well. I'm just gonna follow the arrow, and we'll get there, eventually. Let's see... Did that house thing? I don't want that kinker to see me. The chest here... Wow, this is very far. How far is this? I won't have enough time to do my mining. Okay. We're here. Is this going to talk to us? Good day, mate. How are you? Don't think I've seen you around here before. Good, good. How about you? Whoa, whoa. Going good? Check it out, mate. 
It's a boat. Oi! Hold on there, mate. Them fighting words. I reckon you're not from around here. I better warn you. If the other ruse hear you talking like that, well, fighting words like that will get you in a fight, won't they? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend. Offend? That's a fighting word as well, Boy. right? Golly gosh, them fighting words as well. I'm beginning to think you're going far out of your way to personally verbally abuse me. You're trying to take me for a wooly wool, mate? I'm Boy. sorry, mate. Ah, nah, mate. Tripling down with them fighting words. Yeah, nah, now you've done it. Oh, no. No choice but to defend myself. What is this a quest? I didn't know that I was gonna be fighting. What level is Golden Jack? I hope I don't kill him. What if he was a nice guy? Okay, we did it. He's just down. Yeah. Hey, you got lucky, mate. Lucky I forgot to dodge those attacks of yours. Yeah, if not for that, well, things would be a lot different, wouldn't they? Oof. Reckon someone who starts off fighting words the way you do might have the moxie to back it up. That's on me, yeah? Well, you won't be so lucky next time, assuming there's the next time. I'm not some like, kind of psycho who just walks up to friendly woos minding their own business following out fighting words like it's going out of style, am I? Yeah. yeah, now that I think about it, I want you to seek me out for a rematch. Give me another chance to best you in a fight. If you didn't, I'm sure I'd hold it against you. Find me later and beat me two more times. I'll give you a sick reward. Thick as... Look for me in hard to reach places around the desert, mate. Remember me. I have no idea what that is all about, but... We have... Jeez, let me hit you. Nice. Okay. Alright, I need to go to the washroom, and I'll also just be... What's that? Okay, did I just unlock them? We're fighting it. I don't care. I really need to go to the washroom. To look at Oh no, whoa. Dang, I only have stamina food. We can do it, as long as we don't get hit again. Nice. Oof, oof, let's run away. I think we should run away. Okay, I'm gonna go to the washroom and do some mining and we'll be back the next day hopefully with everything we need for a bunch of these quests rise and shine Dang, hello again everyone late. i've been waiting forever almost What's 10 minutes happening? now Why? but that's neither here nor there come on i brought little bell we're going riding okay let's go well saddle up and let's get a move on I'm fixing to take you to my favorite spot. Okay. Oh, we have to ride with Elsie. Bye, guys. Come on, Lil Bell. Sorry Let's get up. That. Yeah. All right. Try to keep up now. Where are you going? We're flying now! Whoa, Lil Bell, it's that away! There's a train. Okay. We almost fell. Crazy. Take a gander. This is everyone's I favorite sometimes spot. ride out here for my morning cattle herding. Take a deep breath, soak it all in. We're above all the dust and gunk, so the air is extra fresh. Plus, 
The view ain't nothing to sneeze at, neither. Okay. Ah, yeah. That's the good stuff. What's your take, partner? Feeling inspired? Humbled by the vastness of the great outdoors? Should I flirt with Elsie? Should I flirt with Elsie? Should I flirt with Elsie? I'm gonna say it's Ain't a it though? Being up here kind of puts things into perspective, don't it? We're all like specks of dust blowing in the wind and whatnot. Well, ain't getting any younger. I feel like flirting with all the guys is okay, but once I add all the girls into the mix, I feel like that's a bit much. Wait, I didn't know we can go down here. Oh wait, we can move the camera. My bad. I have my Woo! hand in my pocket. Bill's in a good mood today. Yeah. I didn't even know this was here. What in the world? The only thing this tells me is I need a horse. Who's that over there? Oh, it's a rocket rooster. Those are some ruins. I hope she drives me back. I don't want to walk. Yeah! That's my favorite running spot. I like to bring Belle out here and just gun it down that hill. Hands tied on the reins, wind in my hair. Here's yeah. pretty much the only spot I feel like I'm anywhere but inside city lines. And it's the furthest my folks will let me go. They think I'm still a kid. But when the it sun sits like out here kid. in my spot, I'm whoever I want to be. Whether I'm hoofing it or riding like the wind, out here, nobody can tell me what to do. I'm a bird, but my pa Oops. doesn't even want me out this far. He's always saying I gotta be more ladylike. Which is just code for boring. I'm a legal adult. I know how to take care of myself, but they still treat me like some baby yak mail. Okay. One of these days, though, push is gonna come to shove, and I reckon I'm gonna have to say, want to hear a secret? What's I've got a secret? treasure box hidden nearby. I'm quietly saving up, storing away a few goals here and there. Then, before you know it, whoosh! I'll be buying the first ticket out of this one yak town. Like I said, free as a bird. I mean... But we'll miss you in Santa Claus. Oh, shucks. I'd miss you and me and all the critters around here, but... I'd come back and visit. And hey, you gotta come visit me too. Ain't fair to put the burden all on me now, is it? Yeah, that's Say, true. I tell you what, cowpoke. I hereby issue a challenge. See if you can find my treasure chest. I'd consider it a favor whether you found it or not. If and you did, that means I didn't hide it good enough. Ooh. You're all right for a city slicker. And a staunch companion. Real true blue. I feel like I can tell you anything. Anyway, I gotta get home. You wanna ride back to town? Yeah, I'll go back with you. I'll look for the treasure later on. I have other things I need. Alright. At your workshop already. Let's hang again soon, huh? See ya! See ya! Although I know I could have called my camel to just do to do just that. That was only seven seven thing of a jigs. Let's look at our mail. From mint. They gave us a waste bag. Dear Barry, as you are reading this letter, I'm already on a train headed for Atara. I tried to come see you early this morning, but you were asleep. The irony wasn't lost on me. It was really nice to meet you, and I guess I never really thanked you properly for all your help. I got you this gift. I hope you like it. See you next time, Mint. That's nice of them to get me a gift. Alright, let's throw all of this mess into my bag. We have two manganese steel bars, which means we can now upgrade this. Don't tell me I need to buy the recipe. Okay. Now we just need three of that and we're set. Um, what else do we need? Let's take a look. I have so many quests. I can't. So one of them says we need to get a recipe from the Commerce Commission. It's a Commerce Guild, and I tried to get it there, but it wasn't there. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So that's for that one. Let's see if we can make this now. The Express Tea Maker. It should be on other. 
Express Tea Maker. We can do this now. Oh, we need to upgrade. We need to upgrade this as well. <laughs> that's another thing we need to do. This will need to find pieces, so that's a while. Let's take a look at how these are going. They still have water in them, so that's that's the important part. Do you still have food? It likes tomatoes and sandberries, but I ran out of tomato uh sandberries. This there's still um mushrooms, so we'll have them try that. Let's see what else is on our list. We've done this, so we can do that. We've done this, we can do that. Okay. So first things first, let's see if we can now get that recipe at the commerce guild. It was for canvas. So better not forget. That it's for canvas. We need that. And it should be here. Armor's Guild Store. The recipes. We have simple chair, fragrance, facial waste bag, arm stretcher. It's really not here. How do we unlock more? I guess I just can't make it. Is there anything else that might look anywhere else to buy it? No. Maybe we need to do more permissions. Let's see what's easy. A potato will probably have enough for that soup pot. I'll take that. Alright. Let's hand in this commission. I already have 10 soup pots in my bag. Where's Grace? Are you here? Uh, cause... Where is she? Is she not on the map? Oh, she's far away. It's that one. Okay. I thought there was something else there. Hello, Yan. Hello! Hmm? Alright, let's see what easy. else is there to do. Um, so there's something here. Hugo wants something. Mm. Bronze stick. Do I have one? I have a copper stick. I don't have a bronze stick on me. That's too bad. Hello, Banjo. Mail. I think that's inside Construction Junction. Let's see what's happening. Hadi, let me the mobile suit for a few days. I need it for research. Mm. Okay. And what research is this specifically? What are specifically, they arguing? one, analyze the operative efficiency of the mobile suit over various terrains. Two, analyze the feedback efficiency of the suit while testing specific control inputs. Three, synthesize these and other data in order to improve pilotability of the suit. Sounds like research All right. to me. I walked into that one. That's on me. So what you're saying is, you want to learn to drive it better. Yeah. Framing my Sounds research like with such terminology diminishes the prestige somewhat. But, yes, one could say that. Well, right. Doc, I know you love that thing, but, uh, let's not forget what happened at the ribbon-cutting ceremony. You crashed the suit. That was a whole lot of hurt. Yeah. The injuries I sustained from said accident were minor and have since healed. You needn't concern yourself with... I wasn't talking about you. The suit! Things all banged up now. Won't even start. Oh no. I see. Was this inoperative status in a mobile suit caused by my actions? Well, to be fair, just us using it on the bridge is where most of the wear and tear came from. I think your little fender bender was just the straw That's the that broke right the camel's right? back. I mean, it looks like the front armor is damaged and the ancillary engine is broken. On top of that, several hydraulic power joints are beyond stressed. I'd say it needs an overhaul to say the least. Okay. Tell you what, the city's got no plans to use the suit anytime soon. Fix her up, keep her in tip-top shape, and you can go on your little joyride. Mmm, sorry, do all the research you want. What do you think about that? Well, who's gonna fix it up? Of I accept. It's me. 
Although I will, however, need a whole host of rather complex materials to make the repairs, and to say that the Civil Corps could handle such a task would be a rather dubious claim. Well, well look who here. it is! When it comes Me. to Max, why not ask our friendly neighborhood builder here to help us out? Quick, reliable, and a deft hand. There's no one better for the job. Uh, that is, if you want to do it. Sure. Mm, yes. The builder has proven their ability to acquire specific materials in the past. Indeed, they will be quite suited for such a task. One moment, please. Okay. He's gonna give me a list of things. Here is a list of the materials needed to repair the mobile suit based on Heidi's conclusions. I believe you will find the list comprehensive and easy to understand. Sure, Excellent. I can do it. Please check the list carefully. If you're thinking of emulating civil core habit of misreading an indexed item oh, and recovering an incorrect material, Instead, do not do that. I moved the mobile suit to my He's research kind of center for its own protection. Please take care of it after you've found all of the required materials. Sounds good. Good. Yeah. It seems you followed my instructions to not make any mistakes. That These easy. materials will do. But now he's taking me to the research center. Oh, I have to do the repairs. Look. Boop. 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 It's good. It's a good, good song. Alright. Good. It was no small task, but it's done. I almost hate to put the suit back into the field, as impeccable as it looks now. But, alas, bound to the pursuit of knowledge, I must. Need anything else? Presently, your assistance is no longer required. The subsequent tasks to be completed require knowledge far beyond your area of expertise. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Builder, please don't interrupt me. Why is this so long? We can just observe. Okay. Alright. What do we need? Now I need to get back to... Construction Junction. Because I want to see what it takes to upgrade my assembly station. Let's see. It's not there, right? It should be over here. Alright. Assembly station upgrade. Yeah, upgrade. We can upgrade it right now if we just had more money. But let me just keep track so I know to keep it on me. 10 bronze plates. Let me just write it down. 10 bronze plates. 5 steel bars. And 5... What are these? Microchips. Plus 1500. Okay. It's just a 1500, like I said, I'm like super poor in this game. I don't know what to do. Mm. Oh, I already talked about it. Let's see if there's restaurants here. No, just materials. I bet once we upgrade it, we should have the recipe for the... We should be able to get the recipe for Howdy. the canvas. Huh. See ya! She wanted a drawbridge. Hello, keep the peace ain't easy. So long, partner. I think the piece definitely ain't easy. Hi, yeah. Macchiato. Let's go to Unsure's house. I'm just gonna be all weird about Unsure until, until we break up. <laughs> okay. Unsure's home. And then we just have to install the bookshelf. Isn't that cute? Hey, I was at work and I heard someone come in because my house is next door, and I'm glad it's you and not someone else. <laughs> so Whoa. Funny. You really pulled all the stops out on this one. Books, rocks, heck, you could just put about anything in there. Let me yeah. just collect all my rocks here, and we can take this bad boy for a test display. Yeah? Let's see how it looks. Cool. Say, do you want to stick around for a bit? I mean, maybe you could help me decide which rocks to put where. Let's do it. All right, cool. Let me just put on some tunes to set the mood. So, so the short cute. of it is, I like to organize the rocks into three categories. High, mid, and low tier. Okay. The mid tier represents the one I think are all right, 
Uh, and definitely deserve oh, a seat at the table or the first rock line. shelf. And low tier? Well, those rocks I'm not a super fan of, but I'm sure other people like. Okay. Let's start with the top. The top. First we got onyx, painite, zinc, and then this one. I don't know what it is. Onyx is dark and mysterious. It's pretty shiny, reflects light, makes you kind of wonder about the universe. He's adorable. Next is painite. Despite the name, it's really got nothing to do with pain. It's just a nice red rock. I've only ever found one before. She said it's super rare, maybe the only one in the world. Wow. So I guess you could say this rock is unique. Does he mean that or is this like some like sarcastic quip? Then there's zinc. Zinc is really useful. It's found in the wirings of our telegraphs, street lamp posts. Why, even the firing pin in our Civil Corps pistols are made of zinc. I'd hate to live in a world without zinc. Yeah. Last but not least is this one. I, uh, well, I had some stuff to say about the other ones, but not this one. Oh well, ready to choose your right. favorite? And hey, in case you didn't think the stakes were high enough, despite it already being in high tier, yeah. why don't we also choose the rock that makes us think of each other? I'll go first. I choose Painite because it's the best rock and you're the best rock. You're the best. There can rock. only be one best rock by definition, and I already said it was you. No! Okay, now you go. Um. How about useful wow. zinc? You think I'm useful as zinc? That's a tall order. I don't know if I can fill those shoes. No one's ever been able to make shoes large enough for zinc. That's why zinc wears no shoes. And tragically, I still and always do. That's okay. <laughs> nice. They look good up here. High and mighty. Wondering what the peasant rocks are up to. Sorry, that was out of line. All rocks are great. Oh my god, it sure is adorable. Next is mid tier. We have sulfur, selenite, and coal. Okay. Sulfur is toxic. I just like the way it looks. It's slightly toxic to touch, but definitely don't lick this one. It would make you pretty sick. Well, Captain licked it once and got sick. Guess it hasn't been tested on humans yet. I just wouldn't. Next okay. is selenite. Some people call it selenite rose. Couldn't really recommend licking it either. I mean, maybe once or twice is fine. It's pretty much just salt. It'll dissolve if you lick it too much. Then you've got nothing. I want so to maybe lick a tummy it. Lick. I want to lick it. You make rocks well, so fast. I just always thought they are. I never thought I'd have to convince anyone of it. Glad to know you're on the trolley now, though. Okay. Last, but again, not least, is coal. coal. I place coal in the mid tier because I just kind of like it. I mean, it is kind of an ugly chunk of gunk, only good for being used up. And then when it is, it harms the environment. But on the plus side, it's coal. It's coal. I'm all picked out, I think. You're going to have to fly solo from here on out, I think. Which one makes you think of me? But none Too of Too hard these. to choose? Yeah. In a way, they all kind of represent me equally. Don't worry. Low tier will be a lot easier. Okay. All right. Whew. Finally, we're about ready to wrap things up with low tier. Last and least. Need a minute? Or are you ready? When you talk about your collection, it sounds so charming. Uh, thanks. It's nice that you're listening. It's one of the things I like best about you. Not everybody likes to listen. I don't mind if they don't, but it's better when somebody does. Especially when it's you doing the listening. Aww. Gotta write that one down. Later. On paper. Alright, okay. final tier. These are what a lot of what people call regular rocks. Granite, sandstone, marble. Some of them have bits of quartz in them that sparkle in the sunlight. Some of them are quartz. Okay. When it comes to squeaking into bottom tier, the main thing I look for here is hustle. What shape is the rock? Does it look like it's a hard worker? Does it look like it started from the bottom and now it's trying to get into the bottom tier? What does this even mean? This piece of granite to me looks like a fluffy cloud. The fact that such a hard, sturdy piece of rock could be so fluffy and cute makes me think I can be whatever I want to be. Okay. This sandstone, the fact that it's called a sandstone and not a sand rock despite its location, I can't help but admire its rebellious spirit. This okay. quartz, there are many others like it, but this one's mine. It's the most common crystal in the world. Tch, if you don't count feldspar. Yeah. In some places, it's see-through. In other places, it's milky and not so see-through. Is it hiding secrets? Is it transparent about other things? When light passes through, it creates a rainbow. Even okay. though it's common, its shape is unique. The same way every snowflake is unique. And when it wants to, it can create an amazing display of color. Like, uh... Like, like a rainbow? Uh, well, like just about any crystal, really. Oh. 
That's why quartz is bottom tier. Okay. So now I ask, which of these do you think represents us? Sorry, I keep changing the rules of this game and stuff. I kind of just made it up on the spot. Need to work out the bucks. So yeah, which one is us? Is quartz the Romans option somehow? Yeah, in a weird way, I think it is. That's wow, funny. there you have it. That took a lot longer than I expected, but the results speak for themselves. This is probably the best display I've ever seen. Thanks for helping me. Feel free to come and check out the rocks anytime. Doors always open. See well, ya. Thanks, I'm sure. Toughness increased by one. I really think I can be with you for a long time. Just standing by you. I felt this way since I first met you. Cute. Be seeing ya. Be seeing ya. All right, how much money do we have now? We now have enough money to upgrade it. Nice. Let's upgrade it now. <laughs> this is so chaotic. I always have like no money. I have to figure out what to sell to make money. All right. Come on. All right. No, 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 not there. It's here. Construction tab. Assembly station upgrade. Confirm. Yeah, that's still fine. Alright. Nice. Now we have a level 2 assembly station. What do we need next? The next thing we need to do is hand in the commission. Where is my camel? Can I call it? What are you up to me? Where's... Oh, here it is. Alright. Let's go to Grace and see what the, that other blue thing is. So here's Grace. She just disappeared. Okay, let's go on ahead. Up to the bridge. Okay, here's Grace. And I started a cutscene with Heidi, not Grace. Great. Hey there! Fancy seeing you here. Hey, come check out this view. It's okay. only right here that you can see both valleys of the canyon. But if I'm being honest, I really just came here to admire our handiwork from a different angle. You know, when I said my master Verna would be proud, actually, I'm not so sure about that. She's more into deconstructivist architecture. Oh, sorry, that's... A design yeah. style? Yeah. Deconstructivism is a design thing. You deconstruct all the rules that you're supposed to follow, then actively set out not to follow those rules. The result is usually something pretty odd looking, but neat. You know, if you're good at it. Okay. Vern is probably one of the first architects since the old world that uses this style. And I was pretty good at it too. It's just that this bridge doesn't really need the extra bells and whistles. For know sure. what I mean? It's just a utilitarian bridge. Here's one for you. Verna used to ask us this as new apprentices. Would you rather build something really beautiful or really useful? Useful. Exactly, yes. The world being the way it is, that's what we have to be doing. Making the free cities a better place for those who need it with useful constructions. Master Verna, however, doesn't see things that way. That's a shame. Anyone can make something that gets the job done, she'd say. There's All grace. of you are here to turn your plain ponderings of purposeless pavement piles into things of divine beauty. Got and it. though I do and always will appreciate a good alliteration, that ended up not being the path for me. That, and that's okay. Now don't get me wrong. I love superfluous geometric patterns on my buildings as much as the next gal. It's just, I couldn't stay in Atara working on vanity projects, knowing that the people I care about were here hurting. Yeah. So after I finished my sense. apprenticeship, I packed my bags, 
tossed all my job offers in the trash can, and bought a one-way ticket back to Sandrock. My yeah. master, she's a piece of work. You know the last thing she said to me? Oh, it's like She Q -Q. showed up at the train station with one of those weird little pigs of hers tucked under her arm. Just to squeak out one last. You're wasting your talent. But when no. I see this bridge we built, this plain old run-of-the-mill, just doing its job and nothing else, very non-deconstructivist bridge, I know in my heart that I did the right thing in coming back home. Yeah. We saved Sandrock, you know? This won't be our last fight, but very well could have been. It's good having you on the team. I hope you'll stay here. At least till we can turn things around for this town. Well, shucks. I didn't mean to tell you my whole life story. You probably got places to be, huh? I'll probably stick around and soak in the view a bit longer. How about I can hang for a bit? She's waving. <laughs> Mild cough. Nothing. Well, I've rested long enough. About time I headed back. That was fun. We should hang out more. Later. Later. Okay, there's Grace. Perfect timing. Howdy. Thanks. Talk to her as well. You know, I really like walking around this desert setting. Bye. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it. We did a lot of stuff, right? I don't think there's anything else we can do. Oh, no, we can do this now. Quality over... Qu okay, no, 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 never mind. Let's go ahead and see if we can buy that canvas from the Commerce Guild and finish up that mission. As well as the other one. Today's just about finishing up commissions. Okay. Alright, we're here. I hope it's there. I'm wondering if that was really just like all. Oh, and I meant to finish the sand running cost, but I used up my stuff. See if the canvas is here now. It doesn't look like it. I guess I have to wait. I meant to do the construct sand running kiosk as well, but... I'll do it if we have enough bronze plates. And cast iron pipes. So the cast iron pipes we'll definitely have enough of. How many bronze plates do we need? Four. Two here and two on the other one. This is what's good about like having multiple because you can make them faster. Okay, we need to make more bronze bars because we're running out. Just make more bronze bars. Nice. I think that was all the manganese steel bars that I could make. But we can make more steel bars? We can use one can be steel. This one needs to be upgraded as well. Let's see how our... They still haven't had the desert mushroom. Let's see if I can feed them. Uh, cam I want to interact with the camel. Uh, can I feed them? I can't? Never mind then. Okay, let's just wait for the bronze... Blah blah, the bronze plates. And I think we should be good. I don't want to sort it. Heliconia nail. That goes into animal parts. There we go. I'm gonna need to make a f some other stuff. These are from, I'm sure. I do want to buy furniture, and that's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to sell stuff, but I don't know. That's. Looks like the exquisite frames might be worth it. Arbio's billboard also seems worth it if I am able to collect more wood. Uh, comfortable chair as well. 
see. Let's take a look at the textile tailoring machine. What can we do here? Oh, we have a lot of woolen thread we can make a lot of, but what can I sell that would be worth a fair bit? I don't know. How about the basic planting kits? Could be. Advanced sandfish trap? I kind of want to make these as well. Let's make some copper wires. Copper wires are our grinders. I also need to upgrade this, but we're out of machine upgrade kits. Well... I gonna say while we're waiting on that we can get some wood, but all of the wood is far away, but... Oh, oh there's some here, so I'll grab the- oh wait, I don't have an axe. Okay... There it is. This was the one I wanted to store. There we go. Grab some wood while we're waiting. A sandworm out here. Do, 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 do. We also need to keep our mount fed, so I think I'm gonna feed them a diet of sandberries because that seems to be what they like. Sand leaks. Sand leak. By the time I get back, I think both of those should be done. I'm just trying to get some wood here. And some dew while we're here as well. Oh wait! We were supposed to go with Nian at 6. That'll have to be the next episode. How about just this one? And we'll go back. Do, 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 do. Oops, I accidentally rolled in the middle. Alright. Let's now run back to our workshop. First, we run out of water. Should have tested if I could get food from the windmill. Windmill. Okay. Let's see how far that is. This mort. L. Which one is it? Recipe for fun. And running. They said it was north of the abandoned ruins. We can even have monsters on. That's cool. Okay, let's take a look. That's just Venti's night out, right? They said it was north of where the Gieglers were. So let's see if we can grab it there. Do have to cross this bridge. And I see now that a horse might have been the smarter decision. Not to mention horses, the horse running felt so much smoother. Okay. I'm pretty sure they said north of the Gieglers, and this was where the Giegler hideout was, right? That's where we fell. And so is it like, where am I supposed- oh, I'm stupid, I was supposed to build it, that's why. I haven't built it, can we- yeah, let's just get a yak on the way back, I'm so silly. That's why it wasn't showing up on the map. Because I haven't instructed it yet. Okay.
Alright. We're back. Back. <laughs> this I'm silly. Who's here? Oh, Pablo's here. Why? I told you that trinket was a lucky charm. No matter what happens, it will always find its way home. Oh, he's just admiring. Alright. Well, at this point, I have to go to the research center. Well, let me just finish making the kiosk. Alright, now if only I didn't mess that up. Now we have to go to the research center first. Come on. Come on, you little thing. I don't know if it's actually faster to use the camel or to walk. It has to be faster to use the camel. Alright. There's still 20 minutes left. We should have gone to Mort first. Let's go to- no, there's only 10 more minutes. Oh, of course that's still a no. Let's just wait. Okay, we have to like, go out and then in. Okay. Hey, we got started without you. Hope you don't mind. Liar. I kind of shipped them. So, yeah, like I was saying, I've tried everything. Drilling, heat, dropping it off the crane lift. Hmm. Okay. Yes. I don't suppose you have a steel ball on you, do you? Oh, I might. Sure, but... Oh, she does. Some <laughs> sound what effects happened you... before. I... Before the action. Here's your bar back. Thank you, director. Okay. Whoa, look at all this old stuff. And there's a letter. What does it say? I hope you're reading this under the light of the sun again and not still from the darkness. It's been 60 years since that event, which some people are starting to call the Day of Calamity. I hope this capsule can travel through time and show that whatever happened, there was some warmth in these dark times. Wishing you luck and a bright sun, Hicks. My peach! It's a time capsule from the Age of Darkness! From right around the time of the first builder, Victor! What are the odds of us finding this? Wow, and everything here is preserved perfectly! Cool. What do you want to look at? A handbook. The title reads, Reclamation of Past Technology by Victor. This is probably a copy of one of the original documents from the first builder. It's the same book that most builders read when they're first studying to learn the trade. Look around you. It's a scene from the apocalypse, but it is also a treasure trove of wonders. If the human race is to survive this dark winter, we will need to make full use of the technology left over from before the war. Victor really knew how to look on the bright side, even without a sun. It's one of the diagrams used by the first builders. It looks like a simple furnace. Not that much different from one of yours. Power stone with a note. A power stone like any other, probably still usable. The note reads, use this to generate energy. Perhaps Hicks was worried people might lose track of how to use power stones in the future. What the pickaxe? It's a standard enough looking pickaxe made of stone. Perhaps Hicks never learned to make anything sturdier than this, or perhaps he didn't want to part with one of his fire tools. This wooden handle is a bit flimsy, but is doing pretty well considering its age. It shows no sign of rot, rot, suggesting that the box was airtight. What should I say? I've seen <clears> enough. Unfortunate. Based on the approximate age of the box, I was hoping we'd find something undiscovered. These are all objects of interest, but I'm afraid none are particularly unique. Yeah. This letter has a bunch of stuff about gangs and hurting people. Director, was the Age of Darkness really that bad? Well, I'm assuming it is. Ah, I hadn't realized you had failed your history classes. How surprising. Allow me to enlighten you. Okay. Yes. In fact, this letter is rather mm -hmm. tame in its descriptions. In the first 50 years after the Day of Calamity, 
the surviving population were lucky to locate even one proper meal per day, resulting in desperate panic and constant tribe-like warfare over resources. In combination with the poor nutrition, poor hygiene, and lack of sunlight, which led to various physical ailments and illnesses, the result was the lowest average life expectancy in human history. All in all, the era is quite suboptimal for research, and I for one am rather glad to exist currently. Same. Gosh, that sounds so horrible! But at the same time, it really is amazing there were people back then like Hicks here who never lost hope. Yeah. Can you imagine? If it wasn't for heroes like Hicks and Peach, we might still be underground and worrying about where our next meal might come from. Director... Um, <clears throat> social history is not exactly an interest of mine. I suggest if you have more questions, you do your own research or... Or someone who... cares. That's funny. Um, sure, Director. Thanks for all your help. Cool. Wow, what a find! I knew a bit about the Age of Darkness, but this is my first time getting such a hands-on experience with history! Yeah. We need to try hard to carry on the legacy of these people from the past. That gives me an idea. Say, why don't we make our own time capsule? Ooh! It could be our chance to contribute our knowledge and experiences to the people of the future! Director, could you draw us out a- No. No. Uh, fine. I mean, it's just a box. How hard could it be to come up with a design? Why don't you let me figure out what it's made of, and I'll send you a diagram as soon as possible. Sounds great. I knew you'd be into it. While you're working on it, I'll gather up some historical stuff we can put in there. Maybe we can provide the people of the future with something more substantial than our old pal Hicks. Oh, I wonder what we're going to put in it. Anyway, once you're done, bring the box to me. Then we'll go bury it. Oh, and let's each also bring one personal item that we want to send to the future. Make sure it's something that doesn't expire. Ooh. Okay, it's a plan. Catch up with you soon. Okay. Well, the next step now is to go to Mort. Mort, who just lives right over here. I swear, I wish this camel was faster, but can't really complain about camels, can you? Okay, why is there a check mark on Mort? <laughs> oh, it's another photo. I don't know, I didn't even know I had this photo. Oh, these were happy days indeed. Sandrock was quite lively then. Owen's father bought the saloon office and dad. turned it into their blue moon. <laughs> this photo, well, it must be opening day. That yeah. there's Lumi, with his back to the camera. He was the finest shoemaker you'd ever meet. Guessing that lady on the one. left was Rose. This oh, one. she could hum a tune. <laughs> and that there is Eska. She was it's always Eska. writing poems with a glass of milk in front of her. Of course, none of them are here anymore. You see, back then there were always folks passing through. Some even took the train that day just to be there to see the blue moon open. Wow. Thank you for bringing this to me. It feels good to share these old stories with someone who will hear them. <laughs> Cool. <gasps> Take her easy. All right. And now for my final thing to do, we're going to go to install the, the thing. But because I'm lazy, we're going to take. I know I shouldn't because I'm poor, but we're going to take the yak milk cart because it's. I'm too lazy. All right. Awesome, that pretty much cleared up a lot of the quests that were pending on my end. But there's still a few more. Still don't know how to get that canvas. I know shops typically re reset on Mondays, I think. So maybe I can check again for canvas. I don't know what I'm missing for it to show up. Or if I'm blind, who knows? Here we go. Built the kiosk. All right, right, all right, all right. This looks great. You're legit builder, and you're gonna love what we do at the Sand Runner Extravo Plaza. I guarantee it. I'll be in my museum devising plans. 
I'll make sure this is the best dang attraction this town has ever seen. Check your mailbox. I don't want you missing the opening ceremony. All right. Let's see if this is better than what we're currently wearing. Of course, it's not, once again. Okay. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me. That was another busy, busy day in Sandrock. The next day is going to be busy too, making a time capsule and whatnot. So, I'll see you around. And hopefully see you in the next video. Bye!